What is going on everyone? Welcome back guys to yet another brand new episode of our Sly 2 Band of Thieves Let's Play. And in today's video this is going to be episode number, I believe, 23. So, I can't believe how many episodes we have in Sly 2, but this game is quite lengthy. So, anyways guys, in today's video we're going to start episode 7, which is Menace in the North A. So, uh, we're going to start this cutscene and I really hope you enjoy guys. So stay tuned after. I really. This is actually Things my favorite right part of John Basson's episode. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the Northern Lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In none of it, they, I overheard talk between John Basson and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. The Thievius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Besson could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go. Both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. Alright, so this is Sly Cooper and the gang in Menace from the North. So yeah, this is probably the most engaging level in the game, I believe. Just because there's so much going on, it's like a Canadian lumber yard. So, basically guys, I'm going to check out ThiefNet real quick because I didn't really check it out in the last video. Let's see, I have nothing to sell. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff we have to get. Maybe in today's video I'm going to spend it, like, pickpocketing and getting all the clue bottles. So that's what I'm going to do in, in today's video. Hopefully we could get some more of these special abilities. So, okay. here we go. Before we do that, we need to snag the clockwork talents off John Besson. Time is short, we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some <coughs> recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cave. It can now separate into two smaller caves. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. Alright guys, so we got yet another modification to our weapon, which is the... It's kind of like the cane crawl, like the cane ice crawl, which is really sweet. Also, you're going to have to keep an eye out for these different eagles and stuff they're they're all throughout the level so this level as you can see is so beautiful look at this we'll take a look around there's also these little ice pillars up here we're going to be making use of those in a future vi uh, a future mission in which we're going to have to i think we're going to have to like redirect a laser in order to melt something but it's really cool all the level this is my favorite level or uh home world like kind of i guess you could say within Sly 2, so... Anyways, let's go right here. Oh shit. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna have to... Oh my god, I'm really taking some damage. That's for sure. <laughs> here, let's go over here real quick, guys. I wanted to try to get some clue bottles here. Let's see. Okay, perfect. I thought for some reason there was a weird sound on my computer. I thought something happened for some reason. Alright, so let's go over here. And yeah, this is one of the reasons why... Oh wait, let's go get the shiny pocket first. Other than the previous Jean Besson level, this one you could find a lot of sapphires, large gold nuggets, and many other really important valuables, so... 
That's why this level in particular is good for getting, trying to get some loot. Alright, so we're going to go over here. We're going to hit this enemy into the water. Perfect. I can't believe how old this game is as well. But let's see. Yeah, we have to go all the way over here, so... Let's go and do this first before I get all these clue bottles collected. And by the way, guys... Oh, shit. Damn it. I'm really making some mistakes. I totally forgot about this level, like the layout and everything. I was also thinking about redoing Sly, my Sly 4 Thieves in Time Let's Play. So maybe that'll be coming up this year as well. Once I finish all these projects. Here we go. Perfect, guys. Alright, so we're going to go over to here now. And basically... Wait, what, what do we have to do? Oh, I think we just have to take some reconnaissance. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> here, let's go back over here, guys. I, I forgot about that. I totally forgot we were doing a recon mission. <laughs> I just want to kind of explore everything and make sure that I have all the clue bottles in the specific area. Okay, so we got the boat. We also need sawmill blades, Jean Basson's house, and the bear. So, just like the previous level, there's going to be a bear as well. I think this one's called Grizzle Face. We also didn't do any of the time-sensitive artifacts, which we're, we're going to have to go back and do, because I want to make sure I accomplish everything. There we go, we got a small nugget. So as you can see already, you're going to be getting a lot of gold in this particular episode. And by the way, guys, we only have one more left to complete the game. All right, sweet. So we got all of this stuff. Let's go over here. Let's see, does this this guy have anything? No. Nope. There we go. So we're just gonna kill him, and I'm probably gonna have to get some more, some different things like different upgradable abilities and stuff, because the ones that I have now are a little bit outdated. I've been using them since the beginning of this let's play, which was what all the way back in last year sometime I don't know <laughs> let's see shiny pocket yes all right let's go get this guy's pocket oh what's this ruby yeah so you're gonna find a lot of rubies in this episode as well so that's another reason why I love to go to this one in particular to find all the stuff see there's that bearer as well here let's go over here let's get this See, there we go. We got another ruby. So we're going to be able to gain a lot of coins quickly. Oh, shit. We got to get out of here. Yep, see? There's that freaking grizzly bear. And this one's really powerful, so you got to really be, be careful about that. There we go. We got the picture of the bear. Alright guys, so we need John Basson's house as well as the sawmill blade. His house is right over here. There we go. <laughs> but yeah guys, the one of the reasons why I like I just love John Basson's levels is because just look at them. I mean they're they're visually beautiful. And this stuff is just amazing. Look at this. Alright, there we go. So we got eight. So far, so good. Making some good progress, that's for sure. Alright, and we're going to go all the way over here now. I think there's another clue bottle up here. Or at least somewhere over here. Yeah, here it is. Alright, so that's number nine. Almost a third of the way there. I just I just kinda wanna get all these 
while I'm in this area. Oh shit. We kind of alerted all the guards there, but that's, that's okay. Also guys, another game that I'm planning on doing this year is going to be the Jack and Daxter collection for the PlayStation 3, which was released several years ago, but I've always wanted to do Jack 1, 2, and 3 because I never really completed all the other games. I completed the first one 100%. Oh shit. I think 100 or 100% in that game was 120. I think that's that was the maximum you, you could go up to, but don't hold me on that one. Okay, so we're going to go over here. And we're going to go this way. Sweet, guys. We're just about halfway there, it looks like. Alright, so let's go over here. I'm going to just try to get all these clue bottles while I'm at it. Yeah, see, we got to go this way. Perfect. And then also there's going to be something over here. So I'm kind of glad I did this in the first video. And it's a good thing we also purchased that alarm clock special ability because we will be needing it in the final operation here, which I think is called Canada Games. And it's really cool. You have to kind of battle all the, like, John Basson and everyone else. It's really sweet. All right, yeah, so this is what I have to take a picture of. Let me go back here. That was my, my, my bad. Let's go here. Perfect. So we get the sawmill blades. Perfect. Alright guys, so now we have to go to this lighthouse over here. Perfect. Let's kill this enemy. We're also- oh look, there's that mammoth. That's the one mission I was talking about when you have to redirect the laser in order to frost out that mammoth. It's a shame we have to kill that enemy too because he has a what's it called shiny pocket damn it okay so now we're gonna go I think we're gonna go this way guys let's go on top of Jean Basson's house if we can oh there's an art artifact there perfect there's a clue bottle we're also need to gonna have to go all the way on top there Oh shit. Alright, how do I how do I get up here? There we go. Perfect. Alright, so let's see. How am I gonna get up here? I think, yep, I think, I think this is how you get over here, to go this way. See, that's a sweet thing about this level, is that now your cane is upgraded, you could climb on certain things. There we go. Alright, so now we got 20, we need 10 more. I think some of the other ones are, are over in this direction, so that's really convenient. Kill this enemy, guys. Now we're going to go this way. In this major lighthouse over here, we're going to be using it later on. Man, look how vivid the colors look, too. That's amazing. But um, basically what I was saying is we're going to be going over here a lot. Because this is going to be the main vantage point to get to the highest point in the level. So it's, it's really amazing, the view you're going to see. There we go. 21. Let's see, is there any more? I don't see any. Here, let's go kill this guard. Try to find way 
All right, so basically we're, we're going to have to go all the way up here. And there's going to be falling icicles and other obstacles around here, so we're going to have to definitely keep an eye out. Also, guys, I was thinking about getting another microphone, which was the Blue Yeti. It's a really good microphone. It has multiple settings. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you think about that. Also, a 4K video camera. Because I need another r really good 4K camera. <laughs> Alright, so let's go over here. Perfect. Alright, look at this, guys. Look how amazing this shot is. Jesus. Look how beautiful. Look at all the different colors and stuff, like the real northern lights. Man, this level is one of my favorites. This is like my entire childhood right here. Alright, so wait, where do we have to go exactly? Oh, are, are you serious? <laughs> we didn't even have to go all the way over there, but that's okay because we would have to go up there later on anyways to get the clue bottles. Alright, so there's the battery charger. Alright, so let's go and get this thing. Looks like we have to go a little closer. Let's wait right about here. Oh my god, we didn't even get it in sight. And the front door. Perfect. All right, there we go. He's mumbling to himself. Come on, John. You got it in him. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm going to win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is. Yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. All right, so we got the first mission completed in Episode 7. 70% completed, guys. And enjoy the cutscene while I take a drink of water. Well, guys, John Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. With the Clockwork Talons as a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his Lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it would prove invaluable. Now, we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So, working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, John Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a censure array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have a lot of things to accomplish in order to get all the way done here. So let's go over here first. I want to sell some loot. Let's see. Six. Ah. Uh, damn it. We still don't have enough for anything. Yeah, so we're going to have to do uh, some serious collecting in this video. So let's go over here. Oh my god. RC Combat Club, which is a fun mission. Laser redirection. Bear Cave Bugging. Okay, so that's not bad. A little bit easier than what I thought. Wait, do we have a clue bottle over here? I think we might. We're also going to have a, a mission over here eventually. 
There we go. Nope. I thought there was a clue bottle here for some reason. I hear one. Let's go see. Yeah, there's there's basically a bunch of stuff in this area. Alright, let's go over here, guys. Oh, crap. Almost got killed by that enemy. See? Look at that. We got another ruby, so that's really useful. Alright, so we're gonna go here. And I'm, I'm gonna try to get all the clue bottles in this video. Oh, what's... Oh, here's that cave. We're gonna be using this cave over here for the Canada games when we do that that final operation in this episode. Let's go see. There we go. Alright. So we're gonna go over here. Make sure we got everything. See, there's a clue bottle here. So that's something you have to keep an eye out for. Number 23. I think the remaining ones are kind of scattered about here. Most of them might be down here. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yep, there's one over here. Let's go get this shiny pocket first. I'm definitely going to be getting all these shiny pockets. There's another topaz. So we're going to kill this enemy. Get some health. And... Let's see, where's the next one? Over here, maybe? Hmm. Alright, guys, so let's go this way. I'm not really sure where these other ones are. Oh, here's a Murray mission. We're not going to worry about that, though, because we're going to... I think I'm going to save all the missions for the next episode. What else am I missing, guys? This is the part of this level that's really tricky. Is finding all the remaining clue bottles. It was always a challenge for me. Especially when I was a kid. Let's see. Anything? Oh, here we go. Perfect. Alright, so how the hell do I get up here? Yeah, see, there, there's definitely some clue bottles up here. But I, I, I forget how to get up here exactly. Oh, here's another one. There we go, 26. Man, my cousin and I used to play this game like crazy when we were kids. We pretty much memorized where everything was, but it's been years since I played this game. Probably going on six, seven years. I don't know. Basically, ever since I did my last walkthrough of it. Oh, what's that? Sapphire. Yes! So we're going to try to get as many as we can. Oh, guys, here we go. Yes, I think this is how we get it. Yeah, let's go this way. Maybe maybe I'll do some levels here, too. What the hell is that clue bottle? I hear it. Somewhere over here. Here, let's go get these clue bottles on top of Jean Basson's house first. Because these ones are the most important. There's 27. Is that it? I don't think that's it. I thought there was more on top of this house. I don't know. Alright guys, so let's go back this way. And 
Oh, here it is. Here's that clue bottle. 28. All right, guys, so we just need a, a couple more. I swear to God, I, I, I hear something over here. All right, so let's go back this way. Maybe there's going to be something this way. We have to be getting close. I don't, I really don't know. It's it's kind of straightforward in this level, where the clue bottles are. I think I hear one over here. Is there one? Hmm. Alright guys, so let's go over... I'm not I'm really, honestly, I'm not sure where to search. So this is kind of like a blind run. Oh, here we go. 29. One more. It's probably somewhere stupid as well. Let's just go this way. Oh, I, basically all I have to do is listen for the clinging sound. Uh, ooh, shiny. Ooh, god damn it. Yes, there we go. Alright, so far so good. 27 minutes. Wait, I, I think I hear something. Yeah, I think it's up here. Alright guys, let's go this way. Let's jump up here. Son of a bitch. Alright, one more try. Let's kill this guy. What the hell is it? I swear to God, I, I hear it. I just don't know where this last blue bottle is. Alright, let's hit this enemy. Hmm. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut the video until I find this last clue bottle because we're at like 28 minutes. So, I'm gonna cut the video guys and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I finally found the last clue bottle. Oh shit, it's right over here on this little gear and this place, this little thing right here. So we have to jump here and yes, perfect. So we got all of them and now I'm going to jump over here. We're going to kill this enemy and I'm also going to try to get this time sensitive item. See if we can return it back to the safe house. Here, we're also gonna try to get this here. Alright, perfect. So we got a sapphire. We're gonna kill this enemy. Perfect. And here we go. Alright, so let's go back to the safe house. Let's try to get there in one piece as well because I really want to get some coins in this video and get some uh, like special abilities for some of the characters. Try to stay away from that grizzly bear. <laughs> I don't want that thing to kill me. Alright, sweet. So we did it, guys. We made it right back to the safe house. Now we could cash this in on ThiefNet. Perfect. And I think what I'm going to get... Ooh. Yeah, let, let's slow time to a crawl. 
Uh, I think Silent Obliteration might be good. Let's do this, though. That's going to be interesting. Alright, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this episode. In the next video, we're going to do three different levels or uh, within this episode, so stay tuned for more content, guys. I'm going to try to have some Red Dead as well as God of War and Ghost Recon coming up soon, so hopefully I'll do that tomorrow night on Friday. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.